had to, and here's about doing my drug review. I landed it over now, it was a great film. Joaquin Phoenix was really standing toe to toe with Heath Ledger. I am not gonna pick who's a better Joker because they're two very different animals. And I enjoyed the origin story. The way it was told, the way it was acted, it was a great film. It was disturbing and it was based on Taxi Driver, which is one of my favorite type movies and I just really enjoyed it. The only thing I didn't enjoy was uh, how they talked about PBA pseudo bubble effect as being psychotic because he had that laugh, uncontrollable laugh, and you know I have this uncontrollable laugh too. It was very beneficial when I was a kid, I think, because I have cerebral palsy, and that's why I have pseudo bubble effect. When I was a kid, I had cerebral palsy and I was one of the first kids with cerebral palsy to go to actual normal public school in my small district. I started school in 1979 and little did I know that New Hampshire had a state school called Laconia State School where they shipped all the people with physical and mental disabilities just to get them. Uh, well, basically, they wanted to have a safe place for them, but there was overcrowding, and it became not a safe space for them. And I never knew about the Coney State School, and I knew about inclusion. Inclusion is including people like me and like other disabilities and now they're including nearly everyone in a normative school environment and I'm really thankful for that because I never got to know the system and circling around back to what I was talking about. I was afraid because I was, well I was one of two people with cerebral palsy. I have a speech impediment and my friend with cerebral palsy didn't have a speech impediment. I was afraid I was going to be judged, but I wasn't judged, well, I wasn't judged harshly. I became one of the popular kids, most popular kids at school. Everyone loved me because I had a smile on my face when I fell down frequently. <laughs> I would laugh, and that was a PBA laugh right there. I didn't do that for a fact. How it feels at PBA is, it feels, when I was young, I couldn't control it, but fortunately it didn't go off very often, only like when I fell or when I was frustrated maybe. That made people draw to me because I'm the kid who always smiles and always laughs and says, hey, how you doing? I hope you have a great day. That was people who, hey, how you doing? I hope you have a great day. Since then, I've gotten more severe effects of PPA because I had a very severe, well, not very severe, but a severe head injury back in 2004. Christmas Day 2004 to be exact. I hit a wall with my face. I hit a stunt. Uh, was it a stunt? Yeah, it was a stunt. Right here. All right, and sorry for hitting my head. And that's caused me to have a concussion that lasted for nine and a half months. And this has nothing to do with my speech. <laughs> my speech is better than it ever has been. But it caused me to not only laugh, but also cry. And it caused me to feel nervous like if I went to a movie. Like you saw the joke, he was laughing in the comedy club. Really noticeably and I just I don't want to be noticed in that way because notice brings ridicule as the movie showed. I devised some ways of getting around it and one of them is just shaking my head because I realized that pseudo bubble effect is like an area in your brain I don't know where in the brain it is but it's like a hamster wheel 
bunch of your thought process or whatever it is. Those are it's like a hamster wheel and it's hard to get off. And this is why people with pseudo bomb are effect get nervous because it's only, oh my god, this is happening again and I can't stop it. Well, I didn't want to be hostage to something like that. So I decided, I'm going to figure this out, man. Shaking your head, it's noticeable and it's weird, but it works. <laughs> See, there we go. It's done. And I just had a little attack. I forced an attack. I can force it and I can stop it by using it and it's beyond my control a little bit. And another thing I found is moving my eyes around. You see how I'm moving my eyes around. Anything to distract that part of the brain from getting into the hamster wheel effect. And it brings it back into being normal again. I feel bad because a friend of mine used to know someone who had that sort of pseudo Beaumont effect and he was just laughing like, ah, ah, you know, just loud and I don't know that he was crying at the same time, which I do sometimes. Mostly I, I cry mostly at commercial. I can keep that like or something really sad me. Like when I was with Janelle and you can see the video on my channel. Uh, we went to a tr the Chattanooga Toll Truck Music and these punctuating laughs are also PBA. There was a film before we actually got in to see the trucks and and was about towing and the business and where they started and why they started and uh, the whole spang. I was crying like a maniac. <laughs> it's a tow truck film, a film about tow. It's not like Mother and Child Reunion is only a moment away. That was Hallmark -y. And it's about tow trucks. <laughs> And she razzed me a little bit uh, in, in the video, and and that's how you have your proof. Janelle and I are not together, I don't know if you know that, but that's fine. Right. That's why she isn't sitting beside me in the band. I just, I just, I'm making this video one. If you have to know Baltimore effect, you're not a psychotic. You're not like I'm going to kill people. It's just something that's inconvenient. It's, it's a response, it's an inappropriate response. That's what the doctors call it. Like if I were at a funeral, like I, when I went to probably every funeral I've been to, I went <laughs> like that. And some people do it. There are famous people who do it. But the first time I realized that someone else had this problem too was when I was watching Spin City. Spin City was an ABC comedy in the 90s with Connie Brennan and Barry Boswick and I most notably Michael J. Fox. It was his last series and Barry Boswick was the mayor and he was the assistant mayor and the deputy mayor. Anyway, Barry Boswick was talking to a secretary. I think it was Jennifer Esposito at that point. Jennifer Esposito plays Connie Britton. Mary Boswick said, when I'm at a funeral, I always laugh instead of cry. And it was about his father not wanting him to laugh. But that was so no more more effect. So it doesn't necessarily happen to people, everyone, like everyone with a disability, everyone who's psychotic. It's a very normal, normal thing. And I just want anyone else who has suitable matter of fact, I want you to try shaking your head, you know, maybe rubbing your neck. These are things that look weird, but they look less weird than going, ah, 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 and not having to be able to stop. Any sensation for me, because I didn't just, instead of being hijacked by a hamster wheel, I just can't get concentrated on you know, blinking or looking around. And I'm researching things that I can do, get away with, maybe gripping my hand, but I don't want to hurt myself. Just so everybody doesn't look at me doing something weird when I'm trying to save myself from doing something weird. <laughs> Laughing, you know, shaking your head, just shaking it off.
I invented that rag when he was singing that song, so that's what I remember to sing it off. I hope this helps people because it's really embarrassing and it really is scary because you can't stop it once the ball gets rolling. It's like Indiana Jones when he's being chased by the boulder. You can't stop unless you know what you're doing. Touching different parts of body, anything that, that takes you out of that hamster wheel, the sword, sort of bob on hamster wheel. And I hope this is helpful for people because really it's it's not a form of psychosis. It's just a normal thing and, and normal people will have it. Thank you for this opportunity to share one of my other disabilities with you. So have a good day.